Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. In today's video I got a nice short and sweet one which adds a lot thanks to the latest DLC pack and allows you to do stuff like this. So the mod itself is called Bike Wheels and it adds exactly what it says on the tin. Some bike wheels and a few other bits and pieces. So it allows you to create motorbikes or little buggies like this with very thin wheels that don't take up much space. The only problem with these wheels I've found is they're a little bit too sensitive to be able to make a motorbike purely out of them because they do tend to flip over at the drop of the hat. So you do have to kind of counteract it using thrusters or find a super modded gyroscope that can help you get around it. So getting into my character, let's take a look at items you get in the mod pack. So the first one over here is called the bike suspension. Now all of these can only be used on a small block grid, so there won't be any large block motorbikes, unfortunately. But this bike suspension costs three steel plates, one motor, two small steel tubes, seven construction components, and five more steel plates. And it sits on a vehicle just like that. So we go at an angle. So if I was just to paste this in, we put it at an angle like so, and it will create a wheel. You don't have to use the front suspension because there is a secondary block that you see there, which is called the bike back wheel suspension. It costs three steel plates, one motor, two small steel tubes, seven construction components, and five more steel plates. And it's a directly facing down block, or you could, if you wanted to, put it on the back like so and have a much lower rear wheel, which is what I've done with the motorbike over there. Let's just go and get rid of them. So you just paste them onto your vehicle like so. And they act as very small wheels. We then have two more blocks, but they're not anything too interesting. This is simply a wheel which costs two steel plates, one large steel tube, ten construction components, and three more steel plates. And you just plop it in like that, and that's how you just put a wheel down. Oh, that doesn't look good. Let's get rid of that. And the final block is the bike wheel cap which costs one interior plate and it looks like that. So this just simply snaps onto the wheel to make it look better like so. So I can come over to one of these vehicles over here. I think I've already done it. No I haven't. Just paste that in and it makes it look better. That's all it does. So that's basically it for the mod and what you can do with it. So let's try and make a small little vehicle. In fact before I do that Let's actually give these a little test run. Let's just go and get rid of the thruster on the side because we do not need them. And rid of that one. We're just going to get in and go for a little ride. So if we go on our motorbike, those thrusters there, oh god, are, are a little bit too powerful. I think I just overcharged the, oh god. Well that went bloody well, didn't it? Let me try one more time. Let's go into third person and we're just going to go for a little ride. Very carefully now, avoiding avoiding that over there. And we can sort of slide around. This is what I was talking about when it comes to they're a little bit unstable when you try and go for less than four wheels, because stuff like this will happen. So let's now build a small vehicle with these wheels. So I'm going to need some steel blocks. There we go. I'm going to need to have a chair, a nice little seat. So if I come over to here and find the latest DLC cockpit which works wonders with this mod, then we'll need some kind of power. A reactor will do nicely. There we are. And now we're going to build our vehicle. So we can start with the back wheel. So we can have it like that and just build off it straight off. If you wanted to try and build a motorbike, we could just do that and slap the wheel on the front. But then we're going to be very unstable as you saw when I tried to ride my motorbike. So we're going to come across and we're going to build, oh, maybe like that will do. Then we can paste another wheel underneath. We then try and find the center. I think I made this um even. Nope, this will do. Then we can come across like so. We can switch to the front bike suspension. We can have it like so, or we could come underneath and do something like that. That would also work. But for the sake of making it look good, I'm going to do that. Then we can... Put this on, like so, and we might need to put in some more wheels on the front there because I'm not too sure if the game will be very happy with having one wheel at the front. So now that we've done that, I can then slap it on the reactor, and off we go. 
We can turn this a bit. I think we've got enough weight at the back there to actually drive this around well. Yes, we do. Look at this go. So we can make three-wheeled vehicles, but two wheels is a little bit out unless you're willing to mod it further and do a lot more stuff. Wow, look at that drift go. Oh, wow. That actually works really well. With all the little particle effects, let's go for another drift. Oh, and we flip it over. That is what I call a unsuccessful parking. I was hoping that was going to stop right on top there, but it didn't. So we can just copy and paste that once more. So yeah, so there you go. You can do stuff like that. You can make it a lot more prettier. You can go for four wheels. It's entirely up to you. This mod just makes it a lot better than the standard large blocky wheels like this. You could mix and match them if you wanted to. So if you wanted to have, say, the 3x3 wheels on there, on there, we can just get rid of these. There we go. We can then have a centralized wheel at the very front and the vanilla wheels at the back and we get the exact same effect. We're a little bit lower to the ground so our risk of flipping over has been dramatically decreased. But anyway, that is all there is to this mod. It's just a nice one and it allows you to have a centralized wheel that is now off the ground or at least it looks like it's off the ground which is drive around. As for the actual control options, I will go over this. They are exactly the same as the regular wheels, which is why I slapped these two on the back there. So yeah, there's simply a nice block to have if you wish to make a much more smaller, less blockier land vehicle. So it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with this yourself. I highly recommend you do because you can make some fancy stuff. And if you do manage to make a motorbike, please link it to me in the comments section of one of my videos. I would love to check that out. No matter how modded they are, just to get a motorbike up and running would be glorious. Thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.